Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4 as we head into episode 20 of our Oirat to Yuan to Great Mongol Empire run, where last time we dealt with a massive coalition, and today is kind of the fix all that time, where hopefully that actually happens. Our economy is still declining. It's unfortunate. But we can uh, very soon declare war on Shu, actually. And invade Dali and Yan and just clean them up real quick. Uh, Ming has no useful allies to me. And you have no useful allies to me. Yeah, so basically, China's going to be a bit of a back burner thing for a little while because we can't do much with them. I would like to start expanding westwards, but we'll have to clean up a little bit more eastwards, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Anyways, so that means this guy is going to come apparently over here. Oh, right, yeah, I kind of had the idea. Maybe I should declare war on Kazakh. I mean, that's not a bad idea. I might as well. One war in the, uh, in the west before another war in the east. Sure, let's go ahead with that. I'll just continue yesterday's plans. Also... Uh, you guys exist. I could do this war. A big war over here, actually. Hmm. I take Nepal. Um, but what I do need for my next mission... First of all, this guy. Second of all, for my, uh, for my next mission... I could either... Restore rule over the steppe, which is over here. Or I could subjugate Korea. Korea's not gonna happen yet, so... We're gonna have to, uh, go over here first. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to restore our rule over the steppe. That's going to be one of the first goals. We also have Yuan dudes. Let's say Yuan tribes. Uh, where would those be, actually? Over here, maybe? Maybe. Also, you guys are taking attrition, so I'm going to hold one of you back by a day. Or by one movement thing. If you're going there, then you're going... No, come on. There you go. They're going there. Uh, we need to get rid of one of these guys, because we got an extra one from something. Not sure what. Probably from our tribes. But yeah, where are those where are these uh tribes gonna be? Oh, that's annoying. Where are these gonna be though? 10k. Your tesh. Just just your tesh, really? Just this one one province right here. Because they're being converted. Okay. Well, bring it down slightly, I guess. You're going to come over here, deal with those guys. Yeah, that works for me. While you continue to do devastation fixing, you also do devastation fixing. Except you're done with that, actually, so you don't need to. Alrighty, then. Uh, we'll be very soon able to take the next tech. Able is the keyword here. Willing? I don't know about that one. Able is definitely the, the word of choice here. Uh, maybe when you'll be done in 1570, you'll be done in 71. I do have a lot of innovativeness writing on this. And you have the printing press for absolutely no purpose. I don't know why you have the printing press, actually. But for some reason you do, so congratulations. Uh, you're also going to go through advancement effort, if that's the case. Okay, those rebels have been fixed. Cores are done, very beautiful. Uh, not very many cores, unfortunately. But some of the cores are done. Uh, I've taken that. You're getting attrition, I'm sure. So you're going to go over here. Also, you're the Horde Unity, which is nice. Uh, we also need to maybe, oh man, it's just, just right now is when, in 22 years is when conquering stuff from Ming will have run out. <laughs> God. Oh, that is disgusting, but I love it. Uh, ooh, geez, this is kind of a bit of a, a situation. Because every month I'm going to lose how much innovativeness? 0 0.03 a month. And it goes up by like 0 0.006 or something. Maybe not quite that slow. But it doesn't go up very quickly. Ah, oh, jeez. How about... Nugai and Sibir? Sibir Nugai? Or Nugai? I think it's pronounced Nugai, actually. 
Uh, that they won't be that bad. Show superiority, of course, for the um, aggressive expansion. The only difference is that. So we're finally moving westwards. It's been a while, only because uh, converting was an issue, but now it's not, which is great. Speaking of which, we convert very quickly now. Really nice. Okay. So these guys are going to spread out. We're going to get our Horde Unity back up and running. Our economy is uh, breaking back down again. Very nice. Uh, and who are you? Oh, apparently I had a spy network in Kazakh. I didn't know I had. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. I, oh, for, for two and a half thousand, we could take the next tech. Am I willing to pay two and a half thousand? The scarier part is that it might actually be. The scariest part of this whole thing is how seriously I'm considering that. Hmm. Who even needs money when you have tech, am I right? That's completely incorrect. I might do it. To save us a few points. Is that even worth it? That's not even worth it. These This costs 436. Why do I care about taking the, the institution right now? This costs me such a cheap price. Why do I even care? I don't, actually. I'm going to take them anyway, because... This is still cheaper than normal. This is slightly more expensive because Diplo, but Diplo doesn't matter. Who cares about that? And Admin is just, like, a disgustingly cheap price. I don't even care. Why, why should I care? I don't. Anyways... Next idea group. Alright. Speaking of Diplo, as I just said, we might want to check something out. I was thinking trade personally. As we expand to multiple, multiple new nodes, that might be nice to do. Uh, considering, I mean, we'd love to be able to move this stuff from Canton up into Hangzhou. We'd love to be able to harness a bit of this stuff here. I'd love to have the stuff from Girin, the stuff from Nippon when we can. We're gonna need a lot of merchants. I mean, we're gonna be playing wide. We need a lot of merchants. So I might just go with trade, maybe. And then I'll start moving my trade capital back downstream. I moved it upstream so I could take advantage of these nodes because I have few merchants. But if we move it back downstream, we can, you know, the merchants will help us out pretty much. Three extra merchants, a lot of power. Sounds like a good idea to me. Any objections? Too bad, because you can't actually respond until after the video. So we're taking trade right now. Nice. Alrighty then. I think that was, honestly, probably the best idea. Uh, you're going into where? Where is that? Ishim. Over here. And now you're moving back. Okay. Uh, I'm getting there a day early, so ha, take that. Still gonna catch you. And stack white, please. Thank you very much. I'm gonna head down here. You're gonna head down here. I don't know why I'm not splitting these guys in two. Probably because I'm afraid of absolutely nothing. They have like no men. I'm more afraid of just mixing up armies, but they are the same thing, so there's no reason to be afraid of that. Also, what do we want now? Hmm. I was thinking this, floating batteries is an automatic plus one on not every siege, coastal sieges, at least. Maybe it is every siege. It might be every siege, but it's a plus one bonus, that's really nice. You're the plus one, you're the two siege, and you're the two siege as well. So you're actually going to move up into here, because apparently I'm at war with Sabir as well. You're going to start sieging this. You're going to come over here. You don't have a cannon, so there's no purpose in having you on that. So instead you'll go there. Uh, if I want the best unity levels, I would take Japan, but we don't have states in Japan. We want states in Japan. J Japanese states are great. A lot of development a lot of the time. Uh, but not right now. Not right now. Instead, we'll go with... Yeah, never mind. We'll go with... Uh, I don't know, this guy, sure. 
Where is this actually? Vo oh, I'm just blind. Never mind. It's right there. Okay, uh, you guys can move up here. Okay, we're taking this siege. Very nice. Pretty good siege ability. I would maybe like to take offensive in the future for extra broken siege ability. I don't know if that's going to happen. Depending on how fast we actually make it through this game. Because if we make it fast enough through this, uh, through this let's play, I might not even have enough time to get, like, a uh, sixth group. So maybe offensive will be our fifth group? Who knows? I don't. Oh, you guys are, like, similar colors. I was like, yeah, it kind of makes sense. They don't actually belong to that. Okay, so you guys will go siege that back down. Or not back down, just down in the first place. You guys can chill here, probably. In Upper Ishim. Actually, somewhere where you don't get attrition. That would be nice. One more conversion. Uh, let's go for this one. Are you in a state? I don't think you are. No, you're not. Okay, cool. You're not getting attrition. Very nice. Uh, we'll get rid of those. Just the Yuan tribes. And it's still not very many, right? It's just like, yeah, 6,000 and it's going down now. Beautiful. Uh, Sabir now wants peace. Hmm. Sure. I can't take your land anyway. Unless I do this. And I can't take your land. Then that's just not worth it. Because I can take so much more since... This is my, uh, the guy I'm trying to fight, so... I can take more out of this. Um, so for Sabir, I guess we'll just take your money. What little money you have, we'll take it. Get rid of your alliances. Except for this, because it's just military access. Broke a core, return a core? No. I don't know why, they just don't seem willing to do that. And I can't be bothered to do it, to do it either, so there you go. Have a nice day, Sibir. Move you guys this way, and maybe you two can stay there? I, I don't think so, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, basically, we need a lot of money. Pretty much. And it's going up by a little little bit of percent per year. That's done. Where's my music? Why is it so quiet? Quiet songs. This is why I have to keep managing everything, because the songs are so quiet. Okay. You'll go here, you're split in two, bring that guy there. You guys will chill. And we'll wait for this war to very quickly be done. Very quickly. Also, I notice Russia exists. I'm kind of willing to let Russia colonize all this for me, because otherwise I, I can't, so I don't think I'll really kill Russia yet. I think I'll let them continue existing for a while. As for Nogay, uh, we'll just get rid of some stuff. Apparently not everything, because they still have an army, in quotations. Okay, how about just like slightly less money? I don't, I don't know. How about we get rid of your rivalry? Okay, this is ridiculous. Get rid of your uh, alliance with Kazak. Or just not get rid of it, I guess. Uh, sure, I don't care. And then finally, we can demand all the stuff from Kazak themselves. Which can't really be everything. I would like to take a lot more than this, but the game won't let me, so that's just unfortunate. There we go. Boom. Our name has grown much larger. Very nice. All this stuff is pretty much trash, so raising its... Oh, whoa, 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 that's an 18 dev. Okay, excuse me while I just sit here and correct myself. Um, that's really solid. That's really solid, actually. But we're burning it all anyway. Because I need the money. Pretty much more than anything else, I would like the money. Uh, yeah, we don't get that much loot. But it's still something. And it makes it cheaper to, uh, to core anyway. I just want to make sure I did absolutely burn everything. Okay, cool. We're solid. So, you're probably gonna sit here. You too. 
We're going to swap you to the Lancers. Shoo. These Lancers. Uh, we can't fulfill this mission yet. We could invade Transoxiana. Can I do that right now? You have a lot of allies. Can I attack your allies instead? Can I attack these spec? Who's allied with Transoxiana? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I could probably do that. We'll have to wait a little while first. Uh, also, I can't get claims because I already have claims, so we'll just get rid of that. Basically, still not even enough money to uh, to pay back a single loan. And now we're suffering massive amounts. Ah, that's unfortunate. But... Uh, maybe we should get the days. I kind of want the days for CB. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm not really sure what just happened here. I guess my old Khan just died, so I just got a new Khan. And he's truly blessed. Uh, I cannot pronounce your name, sir, but uh, truly blessed is the correct way to describe this uh, this brilliant leader we have here. Ooh, that is spicy. That is significantly better than the, uh, what was it, the 304 air I had earlier. Pretty spicy, pretty nice. Yep, that's, uh, <clears throat> solid. Pretty solid. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's, uh, that's nice. Alright then. Uh, if we get full religion... Then we could even start our golden era, which lasts... I don't actually know how long it lasts. 75 years? 50 years? I think it's 75 years. Um, I don't actually know, but... Pretty sure it's something like that. Uh, and then, I mean... By the time that golden era ends, it's likely... We'll have formed the Mongol Empire. Which will be nice. Uh, Coolio. Too many military leaders? That's the same thing. That's fine. So you're doing rebel crushing over in these areas, right? Cool, cool. We don't have anyone over here. Kind of a problem, considering these guys are looking awfully close to my border, and I don't like it. Uh, but next, we have finished our... What you call it over here? Our truce with someone. So these guys will group up over here. You're actually going to come down here. Yeah, and uh, you are too, actually. And you're going to help me invade... Three countries over here. Merc maintenance is down. That's nice. I'm just waiting for... Uh, I mean, my truce is going to be up with a few other nations. They're going to start forming another coalition. Not all of them. Um, Yuan Fuang over here can join, but uh, Ayutthaya can't. So maybe the, the lack of certain nations being able to join might not make another one form. But it's also likely another one will. So I might as well come over here and clean up uh, Shu, Yan, and Dali, just to clean up those numbers slightly. Oh yeah, I knew it. Japan can't keep a handle on their separatists, so they walk across to my country. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, but now we get Deusvolt, and culture conversion cost, and get a bunch of stuff, actually. We get goods produced, we get the extra states, and we get siege ability and morale of armies. Yeah, this is the most disgusting. The Holy Trinity, economics, quality, and religious is just... Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice for so many different nations. So versatile. Ah, oh, truly beautiful. In the meantime, though, I think we actually... Don't we get two policies? Or can't we have three policies in total? Economic quality, quality religious, and religious economic. Can't we have three? Am I going insane here? Wait, is there no... Is there no religious economic one? Oh, I guess there isn't. Really? No, that can't be right. Yeah, quality... Yeah, there's no religious economic. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Never knew that was a thing. Learn something new every day. Hmm, okay. I would have thought it would be like holy taxes or something like that. I don't know. I actually have no clue. Anyways, global trade power will give us a massive boost to start off with. Something pretty solid over here. 
Ah, oh, so many Separatists now. Good thing we have uh, some guys coming over this way. You have a faster movement, so you're gonna head over there. You're gonna come around here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Actually, no, we'll bring you here. I actually have to give you a new general, too. But, I mean, I, I hire godly generals now, so I'm kind of okay with that. Um, check my unity. Let's go with... Well, higher unity, of course. Well, they're all the same at this point. Are you in a state? No, you're not. Cool. Yeah, so the admin we have is pretty solid. We're going to use a lot of that admin. I mean, a lot of that admin for states and stuff. I was still thinking certain parts of China would be nice. Uh, south. If I can type south, even. Uh, south Jilin over here. Would make a solid state. Another one would be Sichuan. I'm not gonna make a joke, I swear I'm not gonna make a joke. It's so hard for me not to make a pun when there's obvious- not a pun, but just a really bad joke when there's obviously one to be made. Okay, just gotta control myself. No more bad jokes. No more. Uh, okay, all the admins doing pretty well. I'm gonna grab- whoa! Okay, that of course happened fast. Build a spy network. Build another spy network, actually. instant that this truce is up, I mean the instant, because then I don't have to declare on Delhi. The instant this truce is up, we're gonna quickly go in, when is that? September, okay. Yeah, we're gonna quickly go in and get rid of these guys. Assuming we're not going over time. We might be going over time. In fact, I might want to check that. I don't like going over time. So, we're sitting at 22 minutes. Is that enough time for a war? Is that enough time for another war? Eight minutes at most. I would usually like to keep that around two minutes. Ah, we might not. We we might not. Ah, uh, oh, losing money. You really gonna do this to me? Jeez. Oh, we have to get rid of that. Okay, listen. Whoop. Whoa, whoa. Aha. Yes, okay. Two people join the coalition instantly. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill him first. Okay. Basically, I want to start this war, but I'm not going to finish it. Um, yeah, the coalition's reforming, blah, 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 that's, that's fine. That's kind of okay. Uh, if I could unpause and actually do something, that would be great. Hmm, I'm still kind of worried about this coalition. It's going to be a second one, isn't there? Second war? Oh, right, these guys are going to have the chance to join too. Only like two of them, yeah. Transoxana doesn't like what I was doing, that makes sense. But no more Ayutaya, who is pretty massive. Um, Japan, of course, that's a given, still gonna join. Yamana, I think, could join, so I think they might. Probably will, actually. So we'll see another punitive war happen, probably. Which will, like, expend all of my manpower again. This'll be fun. Uh, I can't really do anything to stop them, so we'll just have to fight them again, which will be lots of fun. Fortunately, I do have an army off, off in this direction, and this army will come down to this direction. Okay, that's done. We'll head over there. Uh, peace offer from Yan. Uh, are you guys the war goal? You are, okay. How about we head down to there, actually? No, nope, never mind, you're going back now here. Back into there, okay. Alright, so uh, we basically just need to keep beating down the coalition and expanding, which is annoying. Oh, what, what if I could get Japan to like me? Oh, wait, they're my rival. <laughs> never mind. Um, can I... Speaking of rivals, let me embargo you. There you go. That's done. We'll move over here. Give me the siege, please, so we can finish this war. We no longer have an army over in the Japanese islands, so we might not be able to fight Japan as much. I don't know if Japan wants to fight me as much, actually. Considering what happened last time, Japan did not have a fun time. I had a brilliant time, but Japan did not. Um, so let me take that money, too. Thank you very much, Shu. Give it nine days. Uh, 
Yeah, just give it a few days real quick. Beautiful. Take this over. Thank you. Uh, we'll burn it down to the ground. Boop, boop. 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 Uh, boop a doo boo Okay, great. And I can't actually burn this down. Oh, because you're not an actual state. That's your you're a half core, not a full core. Okay, overextension. Core those up for me, baby. Get those three. And now we're out of time. <laughs> Next episode will probably be the coalition, the second one. You know, one episode apart from each other. Sometimes it'd just be like that. So anyway, this is Corbett signing off. Hoping you had a fun time this episode, and as always, have a fantastic day.